Hello everyone, and welcome back to another art vlog. A while ago, I was watching one of my favorite movies, How's Moving Castle, and I have painted the actual castle in the past before, but I've been really wanting to create a painting of Hal and Sophie for a while now. And I was particularly inspired by these scenes as well as the original book the movie was based on. It really reminded me of some pre-Raphaelite paintings as well as some paintings with angel imagery, and I made a quick mood board to try to visualize the, the atmosphere I wanted in the painting. I made some very rough sketches of an idea of a composition and made a quick mock-up on Photoshop for my reference photo. I decided I would try to do a small color study of Hal's face first, just to see how his hair might look and just to get a general idea and feel for his face. I decided to do a small study for Sophie as well, just to practice with the features. But I used this paper that is suited for oil paints, and I've used it successfully before, but I think I just used too much Gamsol and it kind of ruined the paper. The paper just absorbed all the paint and I just got so frustrated that I decided to give up with this one for now. A while ago now, they had a special exhibition in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. They exhibited some famous Van Gogh paintings, but with different Pokemon inserted as the subjects, which was really cute to see. We 
we got some postcards and I really wanted this Van Gogh inspired crochet Miffy, but she was so expensive so sadly I had to put her back. I really want to paint on larger surfaces and I had this big idea of using a very large canvas for the painting of Howl and Sophie. So I got a linen one and started prepping it for painting, but I should have really bought bigger brushes for this because I'm just really struggling here trying to cover the canvas. I still feel I'm not super great at painting flowers and I really want to improve on this so every once in a while I try to do some small flower studies. I just think they're so so hard, especially ones with so many petals, so this carnation was kind of ambitious but fun to do nevertheless and I hope I keep improving. So I decided to finally tackle the big Hal and Sophie piece, but while I was painting I just couldn't get his face the right way, like how I wanted it to, and I felt as if I should have thought more about the decomposition since I was not exactly sure yet how the lower half of the painting would look. I think I was just so excited about the idea of this painting and to just get it started that I had not thought so much about it. I just kept wiping the paint away and trying again and wiping it away and trying again and I felt that just one small study um, of Hal's face was just not enough, especially for a painting this big. So I decided instead of just giving up everything, I would just let this go and focus on doing more research first instead of rushing into something I knew I wouldn't be happy with in the end. After my first failed attempt, I still felt I needed to do a study of Sophie, even if it wasn't perfect, just to get familiar and practice with how she would potentially look in a painting.
I'm still trying to work on my painting style and trying to find a nice balance between picturing things more detailed and keeping a more impressionistic, loose feel within a painting. With this study, I really tried to block in the main values first before working so much on the eyes and other features. I kind of copied this approach from John Singer Sargent. Um, I just admire his work so much and I just love how he depicts people and just life in his work. Even though the process of the Howell and Sophie painting wasn't going super well so far, I was happy to practice with this kind of sergeant technique in the study and I felt I learned a lot from approaching a portrait this way. I got this new smaller sketchbook to draw in since I only really had a big one and I really wanted to sketch more outside and be able to take my sketchbook with me. And I really like the paper of this one but not so much the cover, so I decided to decorate it a little just to make it a bit more personal. I've been loving doing some small master studies in the sketchbook and here I'm sketching one of Sargent's charcoal drawings. And I just love doing these kind of smaller studies to practice my drawing, which I really want to do more of in the future, so I was really happy to get this sketchbook. so excited and quick to begin this new idea of a Howell and Sophie painting, but during the process of the first study and starting the bigger piece, I realized I should let go of my initial ideas and really experiment and research and sketch more for this particular painting, especially if I wanted it to be so big. 
I was happy to do a study of a potential Sophie and looking back now I am glad I went through all of this and sort of gave up on this idea since the process made me realize that I want to take it in a different direction. I think I should have thought out the composition and the details a bit more and I think if I went through with the original piece it would have probably not looked as good as it could have since my heart wasn't really in it. got a bit frustrated with this process and how it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I'm glad of the practice and studies I did beforehand as they helped me improve my technique and my art regardless. I also feel more confident now having scrapped the first idea as I feel excited about taking a more personal and different approach to painting inspired by one of my favorite movies. And regardless, I'm glad to share this somewhat all over the place process of studies and ideas even though I might not end up using them for a bigger painting in the end. Letting this go has led me to this new idea I have for this painting and I've been taking some of my own reference photos and doing some other sketches at the moment, which I really hope to share with you in the future. By sharing this kind of up and down process, I, I hope to show that it's totally fine to let go of some of your art or make mistakes as it's part of the process of creating and always leads to improvement and bettering your art in the long run. Thank you so much for watching, I can't wait to share new art with you in the future and I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.